Hello everyone, it's Marie here from Sydney, Australia. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to show you how to sublimate a 100% polyester, so I'll just show you that, 100% polyester uh, tea towel that is like a waffle um, texture. And I'm going to be using these sublimated, uh, sorry, sublimation prints uh, watermelons. Um, if you recall a few uh, weeks ago, I did make a watermelon patent um, gifts and um, I'd like to make tea towels for myself with this watermelon pattern. So what I've done is I've printed it on a sublimated converted Epson ET1810 printer and I used a sub paper and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use my scissors and just cut around the image. It's too, um, like the, the images are printed too close together for that to be torn in my opinion. So I'm just going to cut that uh, around the images. And yeah, so I'm just going to do that very quickly. I'm going to use my HTV Ront heat press, auto heat press and yeah so I'll be using that so I'm just trying to concentrate here not to um, you know cut into the image too much and then I'll just cut around these. The reason why I'm doing that is so that when um, I sublimate these images they will not um, have like harsh press lines. So what I'll do next is I will take you over to my printer, uh, sorry, to my heat press, and we will heat, pre heat press this together. So see you shortly. Everyone, so I've got my heat press out and I've got it preheated pre at 385 degrees um, Celsius. Um, what, uh, sorry, 385 Fahrenheit. So here is my tea towel. I'm going to grab my, oops, I've got a piece of paper underneath that. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lint roll. So I'll just grab my lint roll or I forgot to bring it with me. And I'm just going to lint roll the tea towel where I'm going to heat press it. Okay. And I'm just going to heat press this for just about, I don't know, 10 seconds or so. So I'll just heat press that. very quickly and then I'm going to do the other side the same that heat press nicely and I'm going to do the same here I'm going to lint roll that Then I'm going to heat press that again just to get rid of the moisture and iron out the wrinkles for 10 seconds. All right, so now that's been heat pressed and it has been lint rolled. What I'm going to do is grab a piece of butcher paper underneath to protect my mat, my heat mat. Just let that cool off for a second. It's quite hot. And then I'm going to add my print and I'm going to square it on. And I'll try not to touch this. 
I think that will do. And I'm going to add a piece of butcher paper over the top of that. I'm going to grab my Teflon sheet. And I'm going to heat press this. I'm going to bring this down for a little bit. And I will heat press it for 60 seconds. So it's just finished now. So I've taken off the Teflon sheet. I'm going to take off my blowout paper. And now I'll just check out and see how they printed. And oh wow, that did so well. I'll just show that to you. Whoops. Can you see that? That looks so good. I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, so I'm going to now turn around the tea towel and we're going to heat press the other side as well. So I'll just leave that butcher clean. It's clean. It did not come through, so that's great. So I'm going to put that over there. There's the tag underneath, so I want to make sure that that's nice and straight. I'll add now my print. And a clean piece of butcher paper. Make sure it's even on either side and just up a little. Clean piece of butcher paper. My Teflon sheet. And I'm going to heat press that at 385 for 60 seconds. So now it's finished. I'll pull that out. Okay. Take off my blowout paper, my butcher paper. And I'll take off the print. And oh wow, again, that turned out absolutely gorgeous. Here I'll show you again. That turned out great. All right, so I'll just switch off my heat press now. I don't need it. I'll take you to the craft desk and I'll show it to you over there. So see you shortly. So this is the finished product. So I just wanted to show you. Isn't that cute? I love how that turned out. That is just so, so cute. I may be a little off with that being a little bit more that way, but honestly, I don't mind. I think it looks so cute. And this is for my personal use. I did a better job on this side than I did on that side, but what a spectacular result that is. I absolutely love it. So um, this is um, basically a sublimation tea towel and um, it's 100% polyester and it makes great gifts. You can personalize this with even a recipe on there, picture of your pets, Whatever you may like, and um, these would make inexpensive gifts too. So I think they're wonderful, highly personalized. I just love watermelons. I think it's so cute. So that's how it looks. Let's see if we can get an even wider shot. That's how that looks. Cool, huh? So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to let me know. I will uh, link 
if I can to an Australian seller where I got this from in a description box below. Other than that, you can look up um, polyester kitchen towels or something like that on, um, what's that place called, Amazon and, and the like. Now, there are a few press marks, not from the actual print itself, but from the uh, butcher paper that I use, but I'm sure that if you wash this, it'll, it'll come out. So, yeah. So this is now washable and dryable and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, I'm super happy and this will last you for a long time. So thank you so much for watching and um, I'll see you again next time. If you like this video and found this helpful, please don't hesitate to like, share and subscribe. Take care and thank you for watching. Bye.